If you look up body cam videos on YouTube, you're going to see thousands of videos of every kind of law enforcement interaction. Yeah, police departments are legally obligated to release records under the Freedom of Information Act. Usually those videos go to news outlets or lawyers or people with a personal interest in the case. That's right. Lately, though, local police agencies have seen a surge in YouTube accounts requesting footage. Our own Elliot Adams is digging deeper to see how this is affecting agencies right here in the Chippewa Valley. Am I detained? You're going to be if you don't. Am I detained right yeah. now? You're detained right now. All right. Come on, let's go. Videos like these are all over YouTube and are quite popular, but they come at a cost to taxpayers like you. They post law enforcement videos um, and they're for profit. They make a profit off of law enforcement videos on their social media platforms. Their videos, like these on Code Blue Cam's channel, cover everything from OWIs, traffic stops, and even active shooter situations. We're looking at 18 hours for one request. However, there's a cost for everything. I'm going to tase you, bud. So if they're asking for all of the records, that would be three body cameras that would be on scene. We also have in-car squad cameras. So we have front-facing cameras, and we have rear cameras uh, in the um, cage area of the squad car. So that would be nine videos. Next, it takes hours of reviewing, editing, and censoring sensitive information in the video to ensure it's redacted properly. We have access to people's criminal histories and driving information. Um, that's all sensitive information that we can't release to the public, so that would have to be redacted. Um, if people are providing social security numbers or driver's license numbers, um, if the officers are talking about other cases at the same time that they're working on this case. The Altoona Police Department has one administrative assistant who handles these requests. She has more tasks than just open records, right? Um, you know, she also answers the phone, she uh, greets people when they come in, um, and she assists them in the first step of the process of them contacting a law enforcement officer. The requests are piling up, though. She's probably spending about 75% of her time doing open records, um, which means that sometimes we're paying overtime or she's getting comp time to be able to ensure that we're keeping up with those open records and in, in processing that. The issue goes further than the Altoona Police Department. The Eau Claire Police Department has a six-week backlog on video requests. The Menominee Police Department struggles too, receiving 68 video requests in 2023 of which 14 were for social media accounts. Chippewa Falls Police Chief Ryan Douglas says they are feeling a strain, with one request taking roughly eight hours to complete. This issue took the notice of a local legislator. The taxpayers are paying for the footage to be released, and then somebody's making money off of it on top of it, a lot of social media um, entities. So. Um, this was a bill to help address that. State Senator Jesse James authored Senate Bill 789 that allows law enforcement agencies to charge for the time it takes to process the requests. They're paying up to $8,000 a month just for redaction of body cam footage. That's it. Not honoring any other requests as far as printing off papers, getting pictures, stuff like that. $8,000 a month in just redaction of body cam footage. That's an issue. The new law gives Altoona Police Chief Kelly Bakken hope. Hopefully that will make people responsibly ask for video versus asking for everything that we have uh, on a case. Maybe they'll just ask for one officer's video instead of six officers' videos. For News 18, I'm Elliot Adams. All right, thanks, Elliot. As for how these new funds will be used, Altoona Police Chief Kelly Bakken says one option is to fund more part-time administrative jobs to keep up with the video request demand.